What's up everyone? Chef Dave back with another cooking video. Today we are going to talk crab dip. Now, this is extremely popular during, you know, especially during the game day traditions. And today I'm actually going to show you a way to make it using crab. Now you can swap real crab for the fake crab if you want. Totally fine. I'm just trying to do some more economically friendly recipes given the way everything is right now and you know right now we've got super bowl coming up we have friends coming over and so we don't want to lose that camaraderie and that entertainment factor of our lives so this is just a way to keep that tradition going while still thinking economically and now again you can use regular crab meat in this that's not a problem that's almost even better, some would say, but I have a special relationship with crab meat and I just really do love it. It's part of my growing up uh, as a child and, you know, it's just one of those things that you kind of have fond memories of. For me, this works out perfectly. Let's do it. Now, this is a pretty fairly simple recipe. And it, you can whip this up, I would say pretty quickly, as long as you have all the ingredients in house. Basically, your base or your foundation are one and a half pounds of cream cheese, half a cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of mayonnaise. And that's the base, the foundation. We got a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. I've got a pound of hand pulled apart imitation crab meat. Now again, you can use a pound of regular crab meat or even less if you wanted to that's okay half a pound is fine everything comes in about a pound so i figured that would be the easiest way to do this uh, we need the juice and zest of one lemon we need some old bay seasoning some scallions we're going to use the white for the mix and the green for the top garnish after we bake it a little hot sauce, your favorite kind is fine. A little pepper, and we'll probably use a little salt if we need to adjust it from the Old Bay. And now you can serve this hot or cold. I'm gonna do the hot variety, because I, I like it hot. Uh, but you can definitely do this as like a cheese spread cold if you wanted to. I did forget to mention before, we also need some garlic. So the first thing we're gonna do is add our lemon zest. Again, you don't wanna push down too hard. But you need that lemon in there, adds that beautiful, beautiful smell and taste. The zest is extremely important. Not enough people use zest. Since we have our microplane out, we're going to add our garlic, which again, I forgot to say before, because it was hidden among the uh, crab. I'm going to microplane two cloves of garlic. Now I'll say this, if you are planning on eating it raw, perhaps doing garlic powder would be better than raw garlic just because raw garlic can be obviously pretty pungent i think making that swap out of two teaspoons of garlic powder if you're going to eat it raw is probably the move hot sauce is up to you um about how much i like it a little spicy so we're going to probably put uh, about quarter cup in there a couple nice cracks pepper beautiful about three tablespoons of Old Bay. And then lastly, we're going to cut this lemon and put in lemon juice. Beautiful. That's a juicy lemon. So now we're going to take our whisk and we're going to gently, because we want to splash everywhere, mix this up. And once we break it down a little bit, we're just going to whip it, whip it. Here we are, nice and whipped up. Probably be a little easier or even a little smoother if I tempered the cream cheese a bit more, but totally fine if you got little baby chunks in there. And now to this, we're going to add our cheese, our crab, and then scallion. So we're just gonna cut these very thin. You don't need a lot, just one white I think is fine because you already got all that garlic in there. This we're gonna save for our garnish. Now we'll switch tools here, rubber spatula. And then you're just gonna mix this all up just like that. That looks beautiful. Okay, now again, you can, you can eat this just like this. It's a spread. Let me taste it for seasoning. Very tasty. Need just a little more seasoning, a little more Old Bay. 
in there. All right, that's what you're looking for, just like that. Now we're gonna put this into a dish that we're either gonna serve it cold or we're gonna bake it. And so kind of an oven proof dish. I'm gonna bake this, I have this cool oval Laker set pan or pot. Now it might be a little tall, for my purposes it'll be good because we can surround the dip with crackers and carrots and that sort of thing. You want to get everything out. It smells really good. That lemon and the, the garlic and scallion is really, really aromatic. All right, that's everything. So now we're just going to push it down. Now you can do this in kind of like a, like a danksed roasting pan, something small, even a brownie pan. It doesn't really matter. It's however you want to do it at home. That all in there, all that good stuff. And that's it. Now we're going to bake this on a high temperature, about 425 for about 20... 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. My oven tends to run a little lower. This will probably take about 30 minutes in my oven. But if you have a oven that runs sort of very consistently, then it'll probably take about 20 minutes. We'll bring you back when we're ready. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes in my oven. That smells great. And voila, that is pretty awesome. It almost souffles a little bit, which is really cool. A good nice little color on top and then we're just going to simply finish it the little scallion color and flavor that's it that simple now you can let this cool a little bit and then you can just kind of slide crackers in let me show you so with crackers your toast points you can just kind of slide them in around it or you can obviously serve it on the side either way works you can go fill up the whole thing or again, you can fill them right up on the side, put a spoon in there and just spoon it out right onto a cracker. All right, so let's give this a try. Boom, just like that. Smoking hot, obviously. Mmm. The lemon really comes out. Very perfume throughout. Tastes good seafood. I mean, super delicious. Get another bite. Super tasty. Mm -hmm. So that's it, everybody. Very simple, straightforward, super delicious. Again, you can use regular crab for this as well. That's not an issue. I just was trying to be more economical. The flavors are great. Old Bay comes through. The lemon comes through. A little bit of spice from the hot sauce. It's super delicious. So give this a try. If you do, let me know in the comment section. And as usual, if you enjoyed this, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thanks, everyone. Peace.